Hi everybody, it's Phil here from Sheldon Bosley Knight and we've got a, another property tour for you. We're on Heath and Road today, Heath and Road, a um, main road just out of sort of Stockingford and heading towards the uh, town centre. Just there, the house we're going to is the one just behind me there. I'll have a pan round here, show you exactly what we've got. Um, this one's got a big extension on the back. It's a little tired, a little dated, needs a little bit of updating. But um, yeah, lots of potential on this one and it's got rear vehicle access with a garage at the back and there's some potential there for the front as well so let's turn the camera around show you a little bit more there's the front of the house as you can see i mentioned before that there is potential to have a driveway here there is no drop curb in there at the moment but obviously as you can see some of the other properties have got the pull on and they've got the drop curbs already in so there shouldn't be any issues there pretty looking house double fronted double bay sorry even um Nice frontage, loose stoned at the minute. You've got the side access down the way just there. Just showing you exactly where we are then. So very handy sort of um, grocery store over the side. You've got hairdressers down there and just heading further down on the right hand side. That takes you down towards the George Elliott Hospital and then obviously easy access out onto the roads. That's where we're going, 192. So let's get in. Okay. We're in, I'm sorry. Um, got the entrance hall, run through to the hallway. You've got stairs going up, obviously, to the first floor. It's full central heating in here, full double glazing. Got the heating controller and everything there. Um, I'm just going to show you under here. It looks as though there have been some work done on the wiring, and it's certainly a new electric meter, but there's definitely some work being done in there. You've got the choices here. This house has changed um, a lot over the years it's got a big extension on the back so all you'd have had originally was just the front lounge here and that's got the bay central heating in that's an electric fire just in there and then as you work through to what would have been the back of the house this sort of section over here would have been the kitchen just on the left hand side just there and there'd have probably been a door out then into the garden um, and then you'd have had another sort of a sitting dining area over in that direction this is one big room now You've got a almost a picture window on the on the back. There's another window on the side. More radiators, gas fire in there, and then to the back of the house. This is an extension, so it opens up. Lovely, nice big kitchen. You're going to refit. You're going to update, but lots of potential there and ways to obviously add value to the house. We'll work our way back to the front and upstairs. There's quite a uh, colourful array of carpets on the hallway. So we're onto the landing, three bedrooms, front of the house again with the bay. This one's got the slightly newer, more modern fitted wardrobes in. So that's in there. Just turn around so you can see everything. The bathroom's on the front, but you've got two further bedrooms. This one's got the slightly older fitted furniture in, as you can see just there. I want to show you from the back of the, over there. So that's the extension, obviously, as you can see, just go in here, look there. And then you've got the garden. There's a nice big patio. We'll get down in a moment. A couple of store sheds, and then there's a concrete sectional garage just there, the, obviously the one that you can see in the middle. And then there is rear vehicular access which is approached off what is the old sort of school fields just at the back. I think they do play another sports games there. Um, but that's Cornish Crescent just over there on the left hand side, as you can see, just there. The garden just needs a little bit of attention, but we'll go and have a look there in a moment anyway. And then bedroom three, the boiler has been replaced. That's a valent boiler in there. That's the same boiler I've got at home. And then the airing cupboard is here. There's a tank. Up there and then you've got some storage space on that one as well so three good size rooms and then the bathrooms on the front and that's been refitted um pretty modern suite in there and mostly tiled if not fully tiled and there is an electric shower just over the bath and there's a bit of storage up here as you can see quite a handy storage and I think that's the loft hatch just up there as well. So right, let's go and show you the garden. 
just coming outside then nice big patio area here it's a um southerly facing garden which i'll show you in a moment that's the side access just there if i just turn around there you don't get much more south than that look 176 177 180 degrees there you go dead on south just that way um some new fencing's obviously gone in on the side we sold the house just two or three doors away just there you've got the patio and then the pathway that leads to the top there's another patio area there there's three or yeah three sort of sheds um two two timber sheds and then you've got the concrete sectional garage that i mentioned when we were upstairs in the, uh, the back bedroom just there and the rear vehicle access is just um over here and comes into the back of the, the garage just there so there you go you can see the extension some of the others have had the extensions done so yeah works very well let's get here and turn the camera around tell you a bit more there we go then so thanks for watching that i've just come underneath this little uh, undercover sort of section just here the um the rain has started to come down unfortunately but we're selling in all sorts of weather so thanks for watching that little bit 192 heat and road then it's all empty i've got the keys we're ready to go on this one the epc is just about to be done the photographs are booked in for tomorrow so we'll have this up and running very very quickly and if you want to come and have a look let us know and we'll get you in for a viewing on here straight away yes it's a busy road but it's a very very popular road you've got the options there of maybe getting the drop curb in and doing the driveway you've got the rear garage that's there great spot in terms of location all the amenities nearby the schools are just up the road and over the other side you've got shops nearby the hospital is just down the road town center is about a mile away there's loads of other amenities in and around sort of stocking ford road links are absolutely brilliant it's so easy to get out of uh Nuneaton from this sort of side the rain is really coming down now um so i'll hide a bit further under here so yeah it's got everything going for it we've got a price then and i know that you all um sort of try and work out what the pricing is so you've got a nice big house big extension on the back we're on the market at 170 thousand pound and no chain on this one so certainly worth coming to have a look at if you've been let down um by the seller not being able to find something um not going to have that on this one this is ready to go uh, we're dealing with the solicitors so ready to be sold lawyers are ready legal packs are all set so as soon as we've got a buyer we, we're good to go on this one so yeah hundred seventy thousand pound let us know when you'd like to come and have a look and if you're unsure about anything give us a call we'll try and answer any questions any queries that you may well have so thanks for watching do take care bye bye cheerio